from the United States, which I don't think they would be, because that would be completely retarded. Um, let's go with... I mean, yeah. Increase our... Increase our... Our army to the point where they're literally just attacking using telekinesis. I mean, that's really the best we can do. Uh, go on the defensive again. While we regain manpower and other things. Also, you all aggressive? Play cautiously. Not aggressive, but like, you know. Oh, where are you then? Well... Hopefully I didn't celebrate too soon, because that was a mini celebration, is what you just heard there. Uh, hopefully I didn't celebrate too soon, because, uh, yeah, the United States is in the war now. Wonderful. Hopefully they can, you know, do some D-Day things. Maybe. You know, at least send some troops across the pond into here, right? Maybe, oh god, that is, you were surrounding me. I didn't even notice that you were there. Okay, yeah. Well, actually those are Republican troops. Then I don't care. Well, I care a little bit. Fine, let's help them out. <sighs> okay, we can't even help them out because we can't even break through there. Never mind. Pretend that never happened. That one time Germany's competent is like... Well, that was inconvenient. Just like, the, this This is just inconvenient. They're, they're going to capitulate. I'm calling it within... Alright, if they capitulate within, I'm gonna say, half a year, let's say it's the, it's, let's say it's December, right? And they've capitulated? Right? Like, they capitulate maybe in December, or like, in November or something, right? I'll be fine, but if they capitulate a little bit earlier than that, well, the game's over, it's all dead, and it's, uh, it's just whatever. So, that's, that's how things are going right now, kind of. That's how things are sort of going. I rush back from the U.S. I'm sure, I'll take it. Oh my God, this is painful. Why is Germany actually competent against fighting the Russians? This should not be happening. Just twenty percent or less it'll capitulate. Where are all your victory points? Show me. I imagine there is at least. Oh, they're all over the place. Yeah, I know there's no easy way to keep track of that. Just try to send them all to the north. There's just nothing up in the north. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So my next question, where are the Americans? I mean, it'll take them some time, but I'm, I'm sure maybe they'll get something done. Hey, Canada exists. Nice. Hey, Free France took back all of Africa. Respectable. The Soviets capitulate, then Germany gets a peace treaty with you in it because they're the only major power in the faction. Ah, you're correct. Oh, I'm going to freaking die. I'm gonna die. This is our this is our final stand. This is our last chance to get something done. This is our final chance. Are the paratroopers ready? No, they won't be for a hundred days at the minimum. If the Soviets capitulate, then I am completely dead and deceased, and uh, that's not good at all. The Soviet Union, yeah, that's uh, that's the gold border right there. That's the magic button. Oh God. That's the gold border. I am not even. A, I'm not even a big power in my faction. France is allowed to be a big power in the, fra in the faction. Italy's allowed to be a big power. Why am I not allowed to be a big power? I've done so much in this war. It's ridiculous. I've lost so many people. I'm gonna die. If the Soviets capitulate, I am dead. I'm I'm dead if it does create a peace deal, and I'm dead if it doesn't create a peace deal. Like either way, I'm just diseased. And if this if this war ends in just like pitiful defeat, I'm gonna cry. Maybe I won't cry, but I'm gonna be severely disappointed. Really. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? You know what's gonna happen? You know this is gonna, this is gonna be my luck. All right, this, my luck is going to be. Japan is also going to declare war on the Soviet Union, and that's how it's going to happen. That's how it's going to happen. That's that's how we're going to go out. It's not even it's not even 1942 yet. I'm gonna let the game run real quick. It's not not like things aren't exactly happening, but let me just 
Let me just check real quick. So, Operation Barbarossa started June 22nd, 1941. We're not even there yet. We've been fighting. Operation Barbarossa shouldn't have existed. They haven't even shouldn't even have started yet. And here they are, almost capitulating the Soviet Union. Like, really close to capitulating the Soviet Union. This is disgusting. This is not good at all. This is just this is what you refer to as the worst possible scenario. Unless, of course, D-Day happens and somehow I get saved, but it's not going to happen because it takes a really long time for the U.S. things to go across. And so even with all the people I can possibly freaking muster, it's not possible for me to even make a single push into German lines. Like, I would have to spearhead them and somehow just, like, really, really go in there. Okay. There's always something I can do here to just sort of stop Germany from beating up Russia. Uh, we're gonna try it. You know, we're, we're gonna try it, really. Um. Don't go yet. I want everyone to like group up at the at the border. Actually, uh, that's because it's it's not where it's supposed to be. Hold on. Okay, this is this is our final stand. This is like the how Germany can win World War II. Start Operation Barbarossa a year early. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind so that if I ever play Germany again, like you know, I've played Germany before, obviously. But if I ever play Germany again, that's the way I'm doing it. Start Operation Barbarossa and a year early, and apparently that's how you win. That's probably what happened in my last game, too. Where they just absolutely crushed. Um, let's try and grab at least something that would be useful, like artillery. 63 days, I'll take it. 63 days for better artillery? Sure, sure take it. Is everyone grouped up? No, not quite. Everyone needs to get there, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that maybe we can get... At least something done here before Soviet Union capitulates in probably about one month, maybe two months. It's gonna take them a little while to get there because of, you know time is so slow. But I'm thinking one giant front, not one giant front, one concentrated front. I mean, might be able to do something about this. It'll take them a while. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll take them a while, but... I probably should have prepared better. I probably should have gotten anti-tank. Probably should have gotten some anti-tank. Anyone here yet? No, we're still preparing, right? Some division's not in position. We want this to go as quickly as possible. If it will even work. I'm noticing the Germans have minimal troops on my... In my area, right? So, I'm thinking, uh, obviously I want some people to stay there, right? Just, just to defend. But I also want them to split Germany in half, please. Like, if we can at least get a little bit, a little bit of something done here today. You're late, what happened? Well, uh, welcome back, Stan Stan. This is what's happened to our wonderful Balkan Empire. Well, um, see the thing is, see the thing is, Germany declared war on us, right? And, uh, we joined the common turn. And this is what's happening to the Soviets right now. And this is also what's happening to the Soviets right now. Germany's actually being competent right now. Which is not good. Wait, hold on, didn't... Hold on. Didn't the U.S. join my war, technically? 
It's the only major power in my faction, but it's not like... This is still the German-American war with just different factions, right? So every puppet died? Yeah, basically every puppet died. Except for except for Bulgaria. They're still there. Bulgaria's still there. We're trying to, like, desperately create a really, you know... Shambled attack. Really shambled attack. At least get something, please, something done. It's not gonna happen, is it? We can try. A man can dream, right? So... Oh, yeah. It's, no, this is not happening this way. Okay, hold on. You know the thing that you're doing there? Don't do it, and instead... Yeah, that's, that looks like a really big encirclement, and we're not about to get encircled today, boys, so... Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, is it this one that they're going into? I can't even tell. Okay, no encirclement today. No encirclement today. Everyone stay where you are. Everyone stay where you are. Can a man revive his puppets? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. Let's be real. Can a man even survive against the Germans? Huh, that's the real question. Mountain movement. I'm sure... When do we even get this guy? I don't care. Throw him on the army. Throw him on the field. Um... Right, yeah, you know how, like, I think if I die, like, I think if the Soviet Union dies, I don't think I die immediately because the war, the peace deal does not happen until all the great powers in, well, yeah, we're ultimately screwed, obviously. Well, I mean, yeah, clearly we're gonna die. Like, we're just gonna get focused down so quickly it's ridiculous, but what I mean is basically, well... Yeah, we, we can't really get much done. Um, I've been trying my best to, to boost communism in, uh, boost communism in, in the Reich. See if I can maybe get a coup off. It'll take another year, basically, right? So if we can survive until that year, well, interesting thing happens. Interesting things could happen where we could see either a really, really good communist revolution in Germany, which is like, you know, the ideal situation. Is a civil war in Germany with communism. I'm an activity lacks equipment. Okay, I'm sad now. Okay, now I'm a little bit sad because I need infantry equipment. Alright, uh, how about we just make a whole lot of infantry equipment? We don't exactly need to make many planes. We don't need the tanks. We don't need the tanks really as much. And this can be sort of like, can bring that down? We do need more of those. If Russia dies, we are ultimately 100% screwed. And there's basically no way around that, so. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how that goes. We just hit the two hour mark on the stream, dear god. This is what happens in two hours. This is what happens. You look away once, like you go to work once, and just boom, that's what happens. By the way, welcome, welcome everyone to the stream. We now have like a fair number of people that for some reason joined at the most inopportune time when we're getting absolutely destroyed by the Germans. So, um, the, the Italians are in our back door. Uh, there was a little bit of a D-Day here for a little while, you know. Things are doing alright. Now it's gone, obviously. There's also one down in Sicily, but now it's dead. Uh, I don't think a man's gonna be able to revive his puppets. Mm, I might, I might, but it's unlikely. Also, can you like... Push, 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 no push. One push there? No push. Wow. We literally just can't even, we can't even, like, strike. Russia dies, might as well start a new game. That is true, but... Gotta fight to the last man, obviously. Gotta f obviously gotta fight to the last man. I mean, I know the, the Russians are gonna capitulate in about, maybe a month. I, I gave them about two months, about two months ago. So maybe just another month. And, yeah, sure, the Americans joined the war. Congratulations for doing absolutely nothing so far. But, Germany could puppet him, though. Please don't remind me. <laughs> oh, shot. Russia's annexing Tanner Tuba. Nice. This is your focus, like, this is what you want to do right now. You got so many people here, you're literally about to die. 
and you're going to annex Tanutuva while leaving half of your entire army in Asia. It doesn't matter if they're there because you're going to die because of the Germans. So regardless, regardless if Japan declares war on him, he needs to have these people in Europe. I don't even know if he owns any of Europe anymore. He's just dead. He's basically just gone. I'm only holding out because of the ridiculous comical number of forts I've been placing down so far. Like, I've, I've been building a whole lot of forts, you know? And Bulgaria is still alive to a degree. I just got surrounded, so that's two more divisions that are just literally better die. I have, like, no manpower. Doesn't matter if it gives them more soldiers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give them enough. It doesn't give them enough. They're gonna die, dude. They're gonna die. 31% communism, hey, I mean, there's that, there's that too. 31% communism in, uh, in Germany, so. There's a chance of us not getting absolutely murdered. Kind of. Mild chance of uh, not being a slaughterhouse. This is just upsetting, really. I mean, should I just, like, draw them all back to the forts? I mean, no one's attacking right now. Like, they know that I can't force my way into into their lines. Which is why they're like, yeah, let's just send minimal people here. Until they're done with the Soviets. And yeah, the Soviets are kind of dying still. Not as quickly as I'd, uh, thought, so I, you can give them a little bit of credit. Oh yeah, by the way, Republican Spain tried. You know, tried. They tried. Yeah. That was... Oh, <gasps> is this D-Day? Oh, is that D-Day? Guys, is this D-Day? Did they just do a D-Day? I think they just did a D-Day. Not on Normandy per se, but you know, I'll take Brittany just as well. Is this, is this what's happening now? I think this is what's happening now. It's 1941. Yeah, those are my f favorite Sabaton lyrics. 1941. And the Allies turned the war. Sure, sure thing, dude. 1941, when the Allies begun, began to win, started to... I don't even know. I, I On the beachheads, the Allies won. Boom, there you go. New lyrics right there, because... That's a D-Day right there. Uh, let's grab the support weapons. Why not? Oh, man, this better lead to something, I swear. EU4 burning right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it is literally just, like, the area that Brittany is. A Breton uprising. Oh yeah. Oh, we just have more equipment. Right, we got new artillery, didn't we? We're not gonna be making a whole lot of it, but at least, hey, artillery. It's something, right? Enforcements is our main priority. We don't have enough equipment to stage the coup anymore, which makes me extremely upset. Thirty-one percent communist, though. When when can a when can a thing sort of pop? Like, they're 50% stability, and they're a 31% communist. Like, what? Can they Can you do a civil war, please? I mean, I'm a little bit less stable, but I, at least I have more communism than anything else. Right, so. Oh, are, are they fighting? Soviets are trying to fight there. Soviets are so desperately trying to exist still. Oh my god, it's so close. They only have 24% of the victory points. They're doing Operation Tannenbaum. Where? Right, like right here? They're wanting- that's uh... That's up against the... Uh, whatchamacallum? Extra war, thank god. <laughs> Literally though, they're fighting against the Swiss. That's the- that's the Swiss war, isn't it? I mean, it took you long enough. Switzerland sort of existed for the longest amount of time. Extra war, thank god. And I'm just looking over here at the... At Brittany, and well... That looks like Vichy France to me. So that doesn't look like it's doing so well. Hmm. Paratroopers. Yeah, I kind of came up with a strategy that may or may not actually work, but I don't think it's going to work, so we're, we're probably not going to do it. It involves para, paratroopers, if you wondered, but it's just it's just not really going to happen, so. It was kind of a wasted 160 days of research. But yeah, it looks like uh, we're, we're, we're slowly dying. 
Fated switch to all adults can serve. Do I have transport planes? I didn't even make transport planes because right after I like, like, I I knew I was supposed to make them, right? But I just sort of thought to myself, this isn't gonna work, dude. No, no, because even if I have the transport planes, right? I can only reach the Northern Balkans without dying. Like, I can't even... I can maybe get Eastern Germany, maybe I can land on Berlin, but what is that going to do? Okay, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna try it, alright? I don't, I don't even... Let's, let's try it. Let's, let's build up some transports, alright? Let's allocate some resources to the transports. 1.3 a year, that's not very many. I mean, we, we just really need to build up, like... We're gonna be, oh wait, no, that's the way to do it. That's not the way to do it at all. We're gonna be doing it this way, right? We have no manpower, right? So that's not that's not gonna work really. Let's swap us that all of our fresh men. Revive Hungary. I can't revive Hungary. He's dead, dude. He's dead. Alright. There's no there's no surviving. There's no surviving for Hungary. Hey, those are a couple more greens than I saw last time. Not that it's really going to make a difference since they're capitulating and... Well, I already gave them a month. They're, they're surviving longer than I imagined they would, so... Hey, kudos, I guess. That's good. Well, let's check this, uh... Here, troop into Budapest. <laughs> Why? I don't want a paratroop into Budapest. It would be... It would be worth my time to paratroop into Roma. More than more than a paratroop in a Budapest. Or Sevastopol. It's not it's not worth it, guy. I'm sorry, it's just It's not worth it, okay? I could help the Soviets with capitulation. Owning more points, yeah? Okay. I'll get the paratroopers ready and then we'll decide. We will decide once the paratroopers are ready. Right, so. We'll just let them do their thing. We also have, like, a fleet that doesn't really need to do anything. I mean, we said it's a challenge the Italian Navy, but you know that's just gonna destroy us, so. Uh, the Soviets are going to capitulate, and I'm going to be extremely sad. Oh man, yeah, they're so close. They're dead. They're dead. I'll give them until the new year. That's it. Oh look, the Italians are advancing their front on me. Oh look, D-Day's not doing so well. How is this Germany that's not even been boosted so good? Because <sighs> the war didn't last as long as it should have, that's probably my guess. Still boosting communism though. I'm just saying. Um, can you even send me anything? You don't exist anymore, what? Anti-tank gun, anti tank guns? Tank destroyers. Medium tank destroyer, oh. Well, we don't really use tanks, or tank guns. We, we should be take, using tank guns, but we just didn't have enough manpower to arm the guns with. Nor do we have enough military factories to create what we need. Oh, great job, you guys created, uh, you... you you annexed Tanatuva. I mean, sure, you get a couple extra points. You survive a little bit longer. I'm gonna lose it. I'm losing it now. Are you kidding me? Okay, sorry, I lost it a little bit there. <clears throat> what is this? What am I looking at? What... What? But what? What? Huh. Don't you? If he does, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm actually gonna be furious. All right, I will. I will bet that the Soviet Union will capitulate before they can even declare war in Japan. That's my bet. I'm sure it's gonna happen. Like they're literally just, they're literally about to capitulate before they can even do it. And um on that remark, may as well try a final push, which I try every single time. Alright, you guys don't have anywhere to push to. Ha 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 funny. All right, yeah, so you wanna push somewhere? Push to Italy. 
Wanna push somewhere, push somewhere here. Let me work on it from there, right? Then guess what? I don't care about your uh, entire life, so just be aggressive with it and uh, have fun. Go ahead. Try it. I just throwing people out on the field. I can't get anywhere, but I can try at the very least, right? Can't say I didn't try. I mean, hey, there's an attempted D-Day landing from the Republicans again. Well, you can't call everything a D-Day unless it's successful, right? So, they've been reduced down to breast. That's it. That's all they own. So, how are those paratroopers coming? Well, they could be better. They could, uh, they could be better, yeah. More importantly, uh, how's the rest of those? How's the rest of that front going? Yeah, we literally were just so inferior. That's actually like depressing. Like all we can do is just sit here and struggle. Like this, this literally, it's it's a struggle. It's a it it is a struggle. That's it. Do we even have our tank divisions anymore, or did they get destroyed? All of our tank divisions are destroyed, so we don't need don't need to build tanks, I guess. More of these, then sure. We don't have enough materials. Uh, can we grab materials though? We ask like for some aluminum from the states, stuff from France, more stuff from the states. We're good on materials, um, which means we can build planes faster, technically. No, oh, I thought that was the I thought that was the the thing saying the Soviet Union just capitulated. I almost had a heart attack. I'm sure it'll come soon, though. Looking at oh my god, it's so close! No, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh god. When it happens, stream's over. Series is over too. When it happens, yeah, I guess stream is over. I'm gonna have to take a break. At the very least, take a break to get a drink or something. Man, my throat is dry talking for two hours and fifty minutes straight. So you have no manpower. The German Reich is. Over a quarter, over a third commun- almost a third communist. Let me just take a little bit of- let me just take a little bit of time, um... How long does it take? Um... Hoi for... Uh, civil... Wars. I'm gonna look it up a little bit, just to see if, like... See Russians in Leningrad. Do you see Russians in Leningrad? You saw Russian ships in Leningrad. I'm sad now. I was actually kind of optimistic. Now they're dead, dude. Okay. I'm look back. Starting the Civil War, uh, may occur based on the popular support for a certain ideology. Right, so, um... I don't know. How are the ships there? I don't even know, dude. Like, they don't own the port, but they're just like, yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, they're just glitching out, too. <laughs> what? I don't even... I don't even... They're just... They're glitching out, too. What's even happening? What's that? What on earth? I'm so confused. The Netherlands, from where? What do you own? Ah, nice. Hello, Netherlands. They exist. <laughs> because in Soviet Russia, anything can happen. That's how you're allowed to have troops there. Soviet cavalry. Psh, disgusting. In Soviet Russia, you are allowed to put your ships in enemy dockyards so long as they don't notice. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Oh look, D-Day failed. So it's hopeless for us. Oh, they stopped pushing there. Hey, I mean... Oh, whoa, 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 what is this, progress? Oh, wait, wait. What are... Make Bul Bulgaria boost as well. What does that even mean? 
How do I make Bulgaria boost? Can I can I boost some Bulgarians? Should I get him to send an attaché? I can send an attaché. The worth sending an attaché? I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, hold on. Things stopped moving here for a second. They're moving a whole lot less. Why are things moving so much less? I swear, if they are on the edge of capitulation. They're on the edge of capitulation. They are literally one point away from dead, right? And now they stop? If they literally take that city, they're dead. Make Bulgaria boost Germany for... How do I do that? Um, where do you even do that? Make Bulgaria boost Germany for communism. But, uh, but how? I don't even think it's possible. To get your puppet to do it. You can request forces, obviously. That's not, no. I don't think you can do it. I don't think it's possible. I mean, unless I can manage subjects. And say, hey, Bulgaria, do things for me. But no, I don't think I can. Um, you know, you, you can't. I don't think you can. I got something up on it. Yeah, I, di I didn't see anything about it when I looked it up, so. This is our, uh, what I like to call the final, final sand, really. As the Soviets, once this city, or this city, or really just about any city is taken, will capitulate. I mean, literally, look at them. They should have capitulated already. They're at 20%. They're 99% towards capitulation. Like, you take one province and they're dead. The Yunnan Free Empire has died. Did you just freaking do it? No, you didn't do it. Oh, hold on. Ah! 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 Okay. Well, that was a fun run while it lasted. That was, um... Well, that was fun while it happened. Wow. That's depressing. What happened? That's it. I lasted so long, guys. I lasted so long. I would give myself a pat on the back as playing a freaking Romania and lasting Germany out longer than the Soviet Union. I don't necessarily call this a victory, but I call this a win in spirit, right? Like, we're dead? But in theory, we really shouldn't have been. But it's fine. Right, well, let's take a look at the world. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the world. This is disgusting. Ew, a lot of bars. Let's just look at things. So, right, this is what Germany looks like. They beat Russia, they beat me too. All that's left is, uh, you know, the remnants of Bulgaria. Right, um, 
Well, this feels a little bit sad. A little bit sad on the inside, but... Yeah, okay. I think that's... That might be it. That might be it for the stream, because it's already been going on for two and a half hours almost, right? So... Well, all right then. That was uh, that was the thing that happened, and I think that's uh, that's gonna be it for today. I think that lasted that lasted shorter than my El Salvador run. That, not gonna lie, felt a little bit depressing. Cause until I was informed that when the Soviet Union dies, I die too. I actually had a little bit of hope, but uh, that's gone now, and so is my campaign. So that's enough of that, and. Thank you for tuning in, though, but I will see you guys next time. We didn't even get to use the paratroopers. It's a little bit sad, but I will see you all next time, and catch you later.